Alright guys, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. We have an alien induction site, and as I was talking about last time, I want some money, because I have a lot of engineers. Scientists, not too important, all it does is speed up research, as far as I know. Uh, so actually, I'm, I'm lacking on the money, so... Let's, let's bring out guys for money. And so we're still gonna bring our, uh, our A-team squad here. So I think I'm pretty content with who we have going here. That's a that's a really quick beginning to an episode, don't you agree? Prepare for deployment, strike one. Usually I'm like fiddling around in base for a couple seconds. The next deployment site is in the UK. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So, where are we landing today? Well, there's a giant statue, it's just like a I don't even know if we can call this a park. Like, they pick the weirdest places to go. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Now, what I'm actually thinking of doing is I'm going to come up the side here because this bus is really nice cover right here. I like that bus. I also like the floaters. You guys don't you guys just don't get how much I like floaters. All right. All right, we have a problem with uh, floaters, and Dan is the solution to our problem. All right, well, that's one, and this should be two. No, apparently he goes right through him. It's like he wasn't even there. Alright, uh, who else do we got? Well, Volkov has a shot on that one, so I might as well take the shot. I mean, the squad snipers don't even have to fucking move from where they are. They just shoot them. Okay, what's our shot on him? Uh, not very good. So what I actually want to be doing right now is I kind of want to get a suppression off, although I don't, I may not be able to do that. Oh, we can actually. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start suppressing now because that may ruin his cover slightly. Not, not too much. Now, suppression also counts as an overwatch, so we can actually get a free shot off with this guy. And it didn't work. Unfortunately, we have our, uh, this guy right here, and he's not going to be able to do much, so I'm going to bring him over here to do pistol overwatch. Oh, shit. Mutons. That won't do anything. You're just going to piss them off. Who the fuck just pistoled us? Well, already things are not looking up for uh, my team here. Uh, let's see who we got. Okay, they want to both shoot him. So let's let's uh, let's do that. All right, and he's gonna be very intimidating. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. You can have a little bit of a hissy fit. Utahns are still no match for uh, the power of uh, power of these guys. All right. Um, uh. Now this could be kind of a problem because he's like right here. Um, I kind of want to deal with the muton. I'm more concerned with that more than anything else. Um, we also have two rockets, so let's let's ruin his cover. And also that thing right there, which means someone else can. <laughs> That was the best trick shot I've ever seen, and also that just killed him completely, so I guess that solves that problem. <laughs> he even was, like, shooting in this direction. I love that guy. Alright. Uh, let's see. We have... I don't know. We could move up. I do risk triggering someone else, though. But let's try it out. There's two we can see. Uh, we, are, we are just out of range of that second guy, actually. There is someone there, but we he can't actually see us yet. And I kind of feel bad because I'm not really using my assault to, to his fullest ability. 
All right. Um, now here's the thing. We know someone's over there. I'm wondering if I can just kind of move my sniper up this thing here and then have a shot. Uh, let's. I would actually prefer that to be Volkov, if at all possible. Hopefully that's not going to trigger anybody. Uh, good. Okay, so let's get everyone reloaded. Uh, let's actually get our snipers actually into, um, you know, cover. Because they've been kind of out of cover this whole time. I was probably making someone cringe from that decision I was making. I, I just, I don't really like assaults. I, I don't really know why. I I feel like if I move them up, I'm, I'm going to screw myself. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and move them just up this ladder here. Okay, and then, yeah, right there. Look at all those, look at all those delicious Thin Men. Let's see what else is around them. Oh wait, they know I'm here. Uh, that may not be good. Okay, well, I guess we'll shoot him. Oh, wait, now I triggered them. Okay, I guess that was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, that was a terrible idea, but I'd do that. I thought I, I thought I had triggered them already. Oh, crap. Okay, um... This guy has a much better smoke grenade. So I'm gonna actually give it to uh, our good friend here. Unless we get a good shot. No, that's not good enough shot. Okay. Volkov gets a grenade. There you go, buddy. Uh, let's see. We can get technically a pistol sh uh, Well, we can get some sort of... Uh, it's not really a flank shot, though. That one is. This is half cover, though. Uh, I think I'm going to be inclined to kind of, like... Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead. Now, I could use run and gun and get all the way up there, but I think I'm not going to. Actually, wait, can I just rocket them? That solves that problem. I don't wanna risk wall cops, so fuck that. Oh, well, I didn't get the other one. The other one was slightly out of range. Let's see who else we got. So I kill them kind of as soon as possible, humanly possible. All right, let's get up here. And I just triggered mutons. Fuck me. Probably shouldn't have done that. Overwatch. Let's hope he doesn't move up. Oh god, he's so dead. What have I done? Okay, well the game just uh, apparently blessed me in my retarded retardation. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> you're really, you're, you treat me right. Okay, uh, yeah, we're not doing that ever again. Actually, wait, uh, I probably should have moved him down from there. Yeah, that was the whole problem of why I was here in the first place and I opened up with them. Me realizing why I shouldn't do the things I'm doing here. Okay, let's try. Let's let's do this one more. Let's let's do distraction one more time. So he's gonna heal himself just so he doesn't die. Mr. Shiv is gonna move up and he's gonna be a distraction because they still don't even see him. So he's gonna move up here. Okay. So he's like, oh god, I see a guy, but he's just gonna hunker down. Okay. 
Okay, and we get another hunker down here. And we're just gonna get, like, we're basically preparing to go after him. He's still too far away from my sniper to make a difference, so. And I think I should move Dan over here. Okay, this is a bit of a wake-up call for me, I'll be honest. I really should stop doing these, like, run-in tactics. Okay, yeah, no, you're coming down here now. Uh, or... Are there any better places? No. Yeah, no, you're the whole reason why we're doing these dumb retarded tactics, and so I'm gonna stop that. Okay, we have two shots. One and two. Get that guy. Okay. One day I will play a little bit better. I don't know when that day will be. Okay, well. You, you know what I'm thinking of doing here? I'm thinking of moving in to, uh, to stun his ass. Can I suppress him? Yes, I can. Let's, uh, suppress him. Okay, so he's suppressed right now. His aim is much lower. Uh... Another possibility is we can kind of run and gun and maybe get a shotgun shot off. Like right here. Oh, oh that would be delicious. We get two shots. I uh, hopefully you don't kill him. Good stuff. We didn't kill him. I, I figured, you know, two shots is better than one. That's what I always say. Not really. Uh, and I think we'll just uh, maybe put some purple smoke down here. And then, you know, because we'll get like an extra plasma rifle out of it, you know? I mean, why not? Okay, is he gonna freeze up? Alright, he's gonna return fire. You fool. That was your final mistake. Alright, what's the stun gun radius? Oh, we'll be right, we'll be in range here. I think. I hope. Yeah. 34%, damn. Oh, he has, he, we, need to, we need to weaken him down a little more. That's all we need to do. So everyone just needs to take a shot, take a shot off. It should be simple. Okay, that's it. We can do a... Uh, what's the maximum damage on this, too? Okay, we shouldn't be able to kill him with this. There we go. And one more. That didn't work. Trying to raise the probabilities here. Help, cut me, cut me some slack in. Do we have a grenade somewhere? Excellent! Okay. It's up to you, Mr. Shiv. I know you love this job. 80%. <laughs> An extra plausible rifle for us. Operational objectives complete. I don't have to build them. I can be lazy as shit. So, uh, that went horribly and beautifully at the same time. Uh, I realized my own mistakes with that one, and I will never do that again. For this episode. Uh-oh. Egypt's pissed. And Argentina's pissed. Well, we're done here. And let's see. Okay, we got a Muton captive again. We will be in touch, Commander. Uh, who's pissed? Egypt and Argentina. Okay, so th these guys all just give, they're getting satellites at the end of the month. Which is coming up very soon, so. Uh, let's start building that foundry, which I can't make right now because I don't have enough power. Yeah, let's do that. And then, um, uh, let's see. We're gonna make the satellites in just a second. We'll do it right now. I, I don't know why I expected there to be anything at the end of the month. All right.
Well, we have the We Have Ways. Uh, and we can get France a satellite, satellite United Kingdom a satellite, satellite and satellite we just won XCOM. Well, not really. All, all, all that happens now is that we can't get uh, abduction defense anymore. Uh, they, th that last mission we kind of did, no more of those. Uh, so we just get terror missions and council missions now, uh, which you know works out for me because I get a lot of money out of this. So it's, we're good. We're solid. That's it. Uh, so that's a lot of money we're making now. We're bringing in the cash. Uh, so we, we we just go to the end of the month. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Remember, we will be watching. Illyrium Generator, online. Some crazy UFO tech we have here. Uh, okay, let's go. New engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, so I just want to check out something. So, power generators create, uh... Six power and plus two, so this is making 12 plus four, so that's making about 14 power. I kind of want to remove it so we can get down a level here, but at the same time, I don't know if I should. So I, I want to start making workshops, but you know, we'll make one. Now there's much cheaper to make though now. So we do that, we make a foundry now. Uh, you know, no reason we can't go down a floor and get to that steam vent over there. Okay, that's it for money. We're not spending any more on this shit. Um... I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Alright, uh, officer training school. Uh, most of this I would actually really want to have. Um, I don't know about all of this. Um, I'll decide that for the next mission, but uh, for the meantime, actually, we have a bunch of interrogations and a bunch of autopsies to do. So I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be probably most of this episode right here. Like, the, you're probably looking at the video thing, like the, the amount of the video left, you're like, what the fuck? But this is actually why. There's a whole bunch of cutscenes with these, so uh, feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to see this, because it's more story-related uh, kind of stuff. It's, but it's, it's interesting, I've never seen this stuff, so let's go do... We'll start with the interrogations and, and go on to the autopsies. Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were- And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Now I want to shoot it. So we have to capture an outsider alien, which is part of the story. We get a basic armor technology research credit, which makes that research faster. Which is one of the things you could do um, if you wanted to uh, get certain researches faster. But you know, it's it's uh, it's something I chose not to do because I don't have the bonuses to this. I decided to wait until the end of the fourth month when I would have everything. So yeah, let's continue researching.
It's kind of fun just to see them kind of like squeam around. So we get plasma weapon and research uh, earned, which is why I kind of didn't really bother getting the plasma rifle research right away. Now it's like now it's six days, but uh, we're still gonna do Titan armor first. And let's do interrogate the the thin man. That one's creepy as fuck. Oh well. Okay, autopsies now. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Okay, all right, we get targeting for ships. Uh, so it tells you right here. And now we get flutters. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. There we get defense matrix dodging for ships now, which is a fun ability. They've been useful a couple of times ago, but whatever. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Okay, and uh, it looks like a Caucasian male. It's an interesting little like blurb about him. They don't really give me anything out of it. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Eh, nothing over here. The thing is, I think we get foundry projects for this. I don't have a foundry, so... Yeah, that's, that's shit, t shit luck for me. Oh, well, chrysalids now. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. So we can make a uh, chitin plating, which is uh, it, it reinforces armor, but it's an item, so I wouldn't really want that. So, nope, don't want that. Uh, let's see the cyber disc. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed. But it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. And we get UFO tracking boost. So we get to aim better, I guess. Oh no, it's a temporary boost of speed. Alright. And last one. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. Hey, cool stuff. We got drones now. Okay. Let's finish that Titan armor um, first before we start doing plasma stuff because I, I really do prefer uh, defense. I know the whole thing of the good, off good defense over good offense kind of thing. Let's see. Wait for that to finish. There we go. Okay, that's done. Thank you for Titan Armor. And we'll uh, wrap it up, I guess, with um, a Plasma Rifle. I think the rest of these are like, like Skeleton Suit, not too needed. Archangel Armor is sort of nice. Um, I wonder if I need the Skeleton Suit for what I want to actually get next. 
Is this a ghost armor? I think maybe not. I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But here's a plasma rifle. Research. And uh, keep going. So they want chrysalid corpses and I have eight and they want eight. And they'll give me 80. 80 bucks for that? <sighs> no. Nah, I'm keeping those. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive will they have to follow through with this plan? Okay, I'm not, um, I was concerned to go X-ray here until the steam vent because of the axis lift finishing, but I'm going to actually wait because I have a lot of power. Um, I'm actually somewhat debating just getting rid of, um, these power generators now and replacing it with workshops, but I'm going to wait on that because I do have a lot of foundry stuff I want to get, so. Plasma rifle research complete. So, we have already two of these, I think, um, which is good, uh, but... We should actually start replacing things like um, Plasma Sniper first, because snipers are really... It's my, uh, it's my ace card. Contact detected. However, our UFOs landed, and we will see what they're up to for next time. So until then... Uh, well, actually, no, we're not. Sorry. I was just about to do my, uh, my signing off phrase, but uh, we have these. Four pieces of Titan armor. Uh, plasma rifle. Oh, I only have one. That's a surprise. Even to me. Well, we get another one then. Or maybe not. Uh, yes, we do want one. Let's go see how these look. Yeah. Good job. You showed that cardboard cutout who's boss. This is why the scientists don't go into the field. Uh, we could also get a scatter laser for uh, um, my shotgunner. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to bother with the scatter laser, actually. I think, I think we're good with everything else. Uh, we can start building firestorms, though. We can also get possibly some of these things. Firestorms, though, cost a fair bit of money, and I don't think I actually need them right right now. We still need to get a couple resources. So we're going to wait on those for a little bit, too. Um, so... Actually, you know, we'll, we'll go look at the, the officer training school as well. Meanwhile, since this episode is so damn long. Uh, a bonus to experience. Recovery. Okay, don't die on me. Basically, they, it'll prevent them from dying. Uh, well, they, it won't 100% prevent them, but the chances will greatly go down. That's very important. The squaddy rank I want to get... I'm probably going to do this for next month. Uh, not right now. Healing, yes, because I don't have many soldiers. Uh, experience, yes. And this one I'm going to get for next month, too. And the rest of, the, the rest of this I'm just going to save uh, for the next time. Oh, we get the plasma rifle thing. I already knew about that. I don't know why it brought me there. Uh, so we're just we're still researching that plasma sniper. So um, I think that's basically it for today. So until then, we will be watching. <laughs>